Good evening, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our Twilight Talks. Tonight we're in Proverbs 6, 1 through 5. Tyler. My son, if you become a surety for your friend, if you have shaken hands and pledged for a stranger, you are snared by the words of your mouth, you are taken by the words of your mouth. So do this, my son, and deliver yourself, for you have come into the hand of your friend. Go and humble yourself, plead with your friend, give no sleep to your eyes, nor slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, and like a bird from the hand of the fowler. All right. Um, principle of success. Don't acquire more debt. And if you are in debt, or if you've pledged yourself as the guarantor of someone else's debt, get out of it, have a plan to get out of it, and start getting out of it sooner rather than later. Why? Because all debt involves covenant. And covenant is a big deal. And it gives the devil access and it gives other people access to things in your life that you could use for your own benefit, the benefit of those you love, and the benefit of the kingdom of God. Now some people would say, you should reverse the order of those. Well, if you know I should reverse them, then you know that they're supposed to be reversed. I'm just talking. Okay? Every dollar that you pay in interest to a bank is money that you could have used for the glory of God. You say, well, I can already give on Sunday. Right? But wouldn't it be great if you could sow more into the kingdom of God instead of paying interest to those jokers over there? Or... What if, instead of paying those jokers over their interest, what if you put that same money towards your own retirement, towards your own surety? Because he's going to talk about that in the next section. Principle of blessing, get out of debt. It was never God's will for any of his people to ever have debt. But most of us have not learned kingdom principles of money. And that's why we're stuck on the world system of acquiring debt and paying interest. Mm -hmm. And that's how the devil keeps basically the entire world enslaved, is through monetary debt. Some other thoughts, my brother? No, sir. Now, for those of you who want to argue that, the acquisition of stuff and the going after of people who tamper with money is responsible for more war. And let me ask you this. If you think money isn't the most important thing in the kingdom of men, ask yourself this. Why does a truck swapping out bills of cloth paper at an ATM require armed guards who have authority to kill, not to wound, to kill, if you tamper with them putting money into or taking out of that machine. And the same thing with jewelry stores when they're dropping off and picking up shipments. But your public schools the government doesn't have the money to fund to protect as much as the banks have to protect those little pieces of cloth paper. It's because money is more important in the devil's economic system than the souls of the people that use it. So just a thought. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. We bid you good night.